Hi there, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to add custom social icons to your Squarespace 7.0 or Squarespace 7.1 site. So there are icons that are already supported by Squarespace, such as Instagram, email icon, Facebook icon. But how about if you or your client would like to add a TikTok icon, which is not yet supported by Squarespace. In the case of one of my clients, we added the not icon right here to lead to their the not profile. So I hope this will be helpful. I'm going to start by demonstrating it in a Squarespace 7.1 site. I'm just going to start by adding a social links block first, and then I already connected these social icons. And then these are my settings for the social links. It's centered, small, and regular. Apply. And then what we are to hack using CSS is to replace this URL icon with our custom icon. Um, and this is the reason why if you have multiple icons, um, I'm afraid we can only support up to one because we are to replace this URL icon with a custom one. So the first step is for us to upload our icon. In my case, I did um, search for the TikTok icon. So you can save it in other colors or you might want to edit it via Illustrator, but in my case, that worked. So I uploaded it under Manage Custom Files. That's under Design Custom CSS. And then right on my blog post, these are the codes for Squarespace 7.1. So I'm just going to copy this one and paste it right here. I'm going to remove this URL, um, but this is actually for TikTok as well. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to delete this just in case you have a custom icon yourself. So by default, we're hiding our URL icon and we're replacing it with another one. So we have to pull the path to our custom icon. So while my cursor is between these parentheses, I'm going to go to manage custom CSS or manage custom files and click this TikTok round dot PNG. And then my best practice is to delete HTTPS colon, just so it'll be easier or it'll be faster for our icon to um, load. So that's how I upload this uh, social icon. And then our next step is to activate our social header icon. I mean, social header icons. So in Squarespace 7.1, we have to make sure it's activated under elements. So I'm going to toggle this on the one under social links. And then you can change the, the icon size and then just click and save. After saving, these should appear. And you'll notice that our URL icon hasn't been changed just yet. So what I'm going to do is go to the blog post. And then we just have to copy this code and paste it right here. It was automatically changed to the link that I provided. But in your case, if you have a custom one, just make sure your cursor is between the parentheses and then click on manage custom files and click your custom icon. And then I'm just going to delete this HTTPS colon and then save. So that's how easy it is for us to change our, our URL icon. And then just make sure the, that the links are correct. And that's it. Um, for Squarespace 7.0, the process is very similar. We just have some changes in the selectors, 
but just make sure you um, copy the correct code for your version of Squarespace. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please feel free to leave a comment below.